GSG presents Writing Wednesday. I'm Mark Sudonik, textile application specialist with Graphic Solutions Group. Today, I want to talk to you about one of the most important tools in your print shop, if not the most important. That being an Atkins thermal probe, the only really true and accurate way to tell if whether your water base or your plastol is actually reaching its cure temperature. So the first thing we're going to do with our thermal probe, and take into consideration also, a thermal probe is usually in our industry called a donut probe because the actual temperature sensor looks like a donut. First thing we'll do is go ahead and we're going to plug our probe into the controller and you can see our room is about 72 degrees so it's picking that up. Our next step after our donut probe is plugged into the controller is the crosshairs, the thin wires that are on the donut, we want to take and actually push in to the ink. This way it's going to give us the whole ink film temperature all the way down to the surface of the garment. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to run our garment and our probe through the dryer. Our wires are pushed down into the ink surface, which is perfect, exactly what we want to do. We're going to let it travel through the dryer and then we can watch on our thermal probe as the temperature rises. What this is going to do, it's going to give us you know, a start point of what our retention time is going to be, if we need to increase the temperature on our dryer, depending on the volume of garments going through the dryer. When you're finished checking your cure using your thermal probe, one of the things you want to do is take the batteries out because it'll continue to drain the batteries. Just place your cap back on. And most importantly, put the probe in the controller back in its carrying case, set it aside. That way you're not gonna risk any damage to the probe of it falling on a floor or getting dropped or anything like that. The thermal probe is an expensive tool to have in your screen print shop arsenal, but the cost of the thermal probe is more than made up for the cost if you've ever had to replace any type of garments due to being undercured. As you saw as the temperature is rising on the, on the thermal probe, is it reached about 290 degrees at the very end of the dryer, but it did reach our full cure of 275 degrees about a foot before the probe exited the dryer. Ultimately, that's what you want. You don't want to go off of the temperature of when it exits. It's going to be a one foot before it exits the dryer. Also, as soon as the probe exits the dryer, go ahead and unplug it from the controller and let that cord just fall through the dryer and catch it at the very end. You don't want to wheel it back in and possibly cause any damage to the donut probe itself. For more tips and information on screen printing, visit GoGSG.com, follow us on social media, and we'll see you next time.